Good morning. Good morning. My mom is here. She's going to help us with finding our water situation because we want to get a whole house filter. Wow. Chewy caramel, sugar free. From Werther's. Chewy caramel. <laughs> I told her, look at all the buds. And she said, where? She's looking for bugs. Why I fertilize mine. You get a azalea fertilizer for it. Oh, okay. Well, somebody keeps telling me, Angela, she keeps telling me, put coffee grinds on it. Oh, well, that'll work too. Yeah. Oh, look. Raphael's flower. Raphael's flower's oh, blooming. Pretty. Yeah. Oh, it's got a couple buds on it too. Yeah. It's going to be pretty. That's nice. Thank goodness it's, it's alive nice still. Bushy. Yeah. If I was taking care of it, it'd be, it'd, it'd be dead. I can't. dead. <laughs> well, that's my plan. <laughs> I take care of it. Oh. She's going to show Grandma how she can ride a bike. By this age, Raphael was already doing figure eights. Oh, I don't On doubt the porch. That. Do yeah. you, you do you remember? Yes. On our balcony. Woo! There you go. Zeb has never ever ridden a bicycle. Yeah. I, I would like for him to try to ride a bicycle. Won't oh, well, you? I tried to get him to ride a bike. And he wouldn't. He didn't like it. Oh. He was very angry that I made him try really? it. Really? <laughs> He I'm almost running. had it. Yeah. Almost. And then, yeah. Well, he, everybody he has gave to up. learn. You know. Yeah. He, it was probably like his 12th time. Yeah. And then he gave up. He didn't like it. If he didn't well, like it, you know, all right. You know, he's, he's, he's older now. He, he should learn how to do it. Yeah, older. He's like I an already, old man sometimes. Oh, I know. He drives like an old woman. <laughs> you know why? Uh, because he had an old woman to show him how. <laughs> no, because I showed him pictures of what happens when he speeds. Oh, okay. I showed pictures of car yes. accidents, and that scared straight. I believe in that. Yeah. That works. Yeah. The cat probably got out. Okay, so Raphael had a health exam in October, and we just got the results back from that. It's February now. <laughs> so we just got the results back from that, and we're really kind of thinking that they made a mistake or their numbers are really off or just need to be changed. They said that Raphael is overweight. There's no way, he has no fat on him, but they said that he is overweight. Hey mom, mm -hmm. what do you think about that? He is not overweight, there's no way. No. If he's overweight, then I am so obese. You probably are classified as obese. Oh, I know I am classified obese, uh -uh. but I said so obese. So obese. <laughs> that makes a difference. Oh, I know I am a beast, but that kid's skinny. I mean, There's there ain't no, no fat way. on him or nothing. No, he's no. all muscle. Yeah. He's solid. He's skinny. I don't understand that. Me either. That, that's got to be wrong. I had to look at that twice. I said, overweight for age and gender. And, and what? Just, just think, if they're doing that Oh, now, everybody's fat then. When he's in kindergarten. He's when in he first gets, grade. Oh, he's in first grade. Well, this young, can you imagine yeah. what it's going to be like when he gets in fifth grade? Sixth grade, I mean, what a stigmatism, you know what yeah. I mean? It's, it's it's bad. That, that that's wrong. And then they, they bring it home. That. I didn't say anything in front of them. I, in fact, I read it really I, late at I night. Think I, oh, okay. I would have said something. Yeah. No, There's I ain't no gonna way. say something to them. It was sealed in an envelope. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fact that they like look at numbers though instead of the child. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can see that Anybody he is all muscle. There's just no fat on him. There's no fat. No. I actually thought he might be underweight. Oh, I, I thought that. I, I did too. Because and he's it's just not running because I'm the used time. to the big people yeah. in my family. That kid's skinny to yeah. me. Yeah. He is. He yeah, is. There's, it's, it's wrong. I, they need to redo their thinking. Crazy. Yeah. I showed my mom because I couldn't even believe it. I was like, is, it, is this even oh, for right? him? Because, like, you know, it had his name on it. Well, anyway, he's got good vision and hearing, too. And <laughs> 20, he, 20, yeah. He must be corn fed kid. <laughs> That's what my uncle said about my best friend in school. <laughs> Fish? <laughs> no, Pat. <laughs> oh, yeah, Pat. Really? Yeah, she, he says, so she, she's a corn fed kid. She's that corn fed kid. <laughs> Uh, she didn't no. like it. <laughs> no. No. Nah. But your uncle was also rude. Yes, he was. <laughs> we ran away from him yeah. all the time. He's, he's one of them uncles. <laughs> Weirdos. The weirdo uncles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see my pretty plant over here? Look there. Oh, that's um, Azalea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, somebody said it was an Azalea. Yeah, they I said it's like it was a, an a mini one. Yes. It's a different kind. I've got them yeah. in, a, uh, in the back 40. 
Oh yeah? Yeah, around my trees. I usually plant them around trees. And yeah. They, oh, this is so pretty. Plant them around trees, it gets great, big, and beautiful. Yeah, oh, yeah. like my one in the front yard, yeah, but it's not a miniature. I want a white one. Yeah. Well, yeah. you have to look for that because well, I haven't seen one. Starts up a white. Getting kind of rainy. Hi. Hey, what are you doing? How was school today? Good. Yes. Did, Did the teacher talk to you about anything? Yeah. What? My friend, he was on red, so I didn't get a toy today. So when one of you guys is on red, no one gets toys, even if you're on green? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that requires teamwork to get the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got something good for you. It's very yummy. Yes. This is a Subway style. Pretty sure it's a six inch. I try to be accurate. It's got all the good stuff that you like. But that one. Even the stuff from Subway? I don't think all of it. Subway sells things that we buy in the supermarket. Good stuff in it? Mm-hmm. We're building something. What are we building? I don't know just yet. So Abigail had a really nice creation, and then she let Raphael look at it and build his own after her, right? Yeah. What is it going to be? You need to wait and see. Today's the first day we hit 80 in about a month or a month and a half, maybe even two months. It's been a really long time, but it's hot and we're just, in short, everything. The weather is super, super tricky right now, so we don't know what we're gonna do this weekend again. It's supposed to rain and thunderstorm from Thursday, which is tomorrow, through the week and here where we're at. And there's actually forecast warnings against doing stuff, so we're gonna take it day after day and see what happens. Today was not supposed to rain, and it was like, it looked in the sky like it's 99% chance of rain, but then it didn't, it had 10% chance of precipitation today and so you know it's like you don't really know what to do so we ended up just chilling in the yard Raphael was on the car did you have fun on the car Raphael yeah we had a lot of fun Abigail was bike riding and everything and it was just cool so it's actually like a nice summer night and we're just out here and it's fun and I wanted to see how far I can go out and still see what's going on full moon can't really see a lot of stars though but we have such little light pollution that we're usually able to see everything up in the sky. But not tonight, it seems. So there's plenty of clouds just blocking it. Back to the main topic, I really honestly can't believe that Raphael's school would put such stats on them. The statistics that they use and the wording of how they describe your child. It, it's obscene. Overweight for age and gender may create health risks. All that's telling me is that Raphael's muscular physique is just taking over. Just like bodybuilders have much higher BMI than uh, normal people with less muscle mass, Raphael is very muscular. And so it's very obvious to me and very apparent in physique that that's the case. I mean, he has very, very little body fat. And this is just not right. How can he possibly be overweight? That kid is not overweight. On the contrary, that's just not accurate. And it can create significant issues because you see your child and how he looks next to other kids, you kind of know what he should look like and if he's out of the norm towards the overweight or underweight, you would kind of see it, right? Well, not in this case because I, I would be afraid to see what his friends and other kids are at school since they're much bigger than him at times, even that's the girls. What my mom said. And so they would be probably classified as morbidly obese, in which they are potentially the overweight kids. How do you do BMI on a kid? I mean, this system is outdated, inaccurate, and just doesn't reflect what healthy should look like. It reflects what a person who's on a computer 24-7 maybe should be like. Maybe he, if he did nothing his entire childhood and was completely no muscle at all, Maybe then he would possibly be overweight with that BMI, but like I just look at it as tats. I understand that it's tats, but when you write that down, it's kind of crossing a line. Raphael, yeah? I want you to know that your body is very healthy. Yep. That's because I don't eat candy. At all. What? Do you think that's why? Yeah. So... I think schools are like notoriously culpable, I guess, of giving kids bad feelings about their body. Um, I know 
I certainly had teachers. One of them said to me, hey, who wants to go outside and get my keys out of my car? It was when I was a teenager. And I was like, yeah, I do. You know, I wanted to get out of class and go. Everybody did. I said, I do. And then the teacher said, if I can't even trust a person with their weight, how can I trust them with the keys to my car? This happened in school in front of all the people, all the kids. I can't even believe she was, she said that. I do remember her name. Her name was Mrs. Peters. And uh, that was not right. Um, another time, when I was, uh, the first time I got like completely embarrassed in school about my weight, before then, I had no, like I knew I wasn't, but I knew I was bigger than the other kids. I wasn't. I was normal. Um, they weighed us, and it was like first grade, second grade, and we're all in a room, and they weighed all of us. And every time they weighed somebody with everybody in the room, they would holler out the weight. So they were like, yeah, this person, you know, 60 pounds, you know. Why would you do that? There's That's confidential in my opinion. Some people, like if you go to Weight Watchers, you're not even allowed to look at how much you weigh. You know, because it's a number. But then they don't let other people look at it either. Because it can be very, that's personal to me. That, that If you want to share it, then you can share it. But that's personal. And school just always seems to have a way of like, not guilting you, but making you feel self-conscious about yourself. It's, even if you're a normal person, you know, making you feel like you're not good enough because of their nutrition things and their food pyramids that are completely need to be turned upside down because they're just really bad. They serve lunch. Their lunch is garbage. Pizza. <laughs> and we've let Raphael do it because he really yeah. likes to do it because, you know, it's something new. But he and actually then they asks sent me papers for... home saying, carbs aren't bad, but the carbs they're giving them are garbage. <laughs> like, oh no, did your tooth fall out? Almost. His tooth is going all the way back, but it's not falling out yet. Okay, Anyway, kids. we're going to end this video. You can go say goodnight to mommy. Seriously, if you work in the, you know, in the school. Cafeteria? Anywhere. If you work in the school and you see a kid who... Uh, Maybe it's none of your business, you know. <laughs> uh, don't don't call a kid out for their weight because they're growing. They're supposed to be the size that they are. You know what I mean? So. I mean. It hurts me. Look. Oh, oh I man, you. yeah. Kisses. All right, Raphael. Have a good night. You can say good night to mommy. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams, Abigail. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Love you. Sweet dreams, Rafiro. Sweet dreams. Okay, kids. Night night. Night night. Night night. Today is going to be like Raphael's day. This is the permission slip for evaluation for gifted. Be receptive to new ideas from all fronts. Good job, Raphael. It is easy. Yeah. <laughs>